for a reaction. Let's bring in Israeli ambassador to the UN, Danny Danone. Great to see you. Thank you for being here. First, I want to tackle this with you. The president was tweeting on the squad today. He said, quote, the squad is a very racist group of tr troublemakers, young, inexperienced, not very smart. They're pulling the once great Democrat Party far left. We're against humanitarian aid at the border, now against ICE and Homeland Security, so bad for the country. Sir, we've got Rashida Tlaib and Omar, uh, Representative Omar going to Israel in a few weeks, if not next month. Uh, you're taking all of this, what the president is saying. So I can speak about uh, Israel and anti-Semitism. It is very troubling to hear what they are saying about Jews in America, what they are saying about Israel, calling to boycott Israel, the strongest democracy, the strongest ally of the U.S., that's what they want to do. Actually, I'm happy that they are coming to Israel. Maybe they will get a chance to learn something, because when I read their comments, their tweets, I see the, the ignorance. I think it is about time that they will learn the history, and they will come and see a, a democracy in action when they come to Israel. What's the reaction inside Israel to the this, these two individuals, these two representatives? So there was a debate whether we should allow them to come in or not, because we know they come to get the, the PR, to make a show, not really to learn, unfortunately. But we will allow them to, to enter the country. Uh, we, we will be able to show them, hopefully, the, the best. But uh, I think they will come and they will continue to incite against Israel from Israel. Does anybody in the media there ask them, why are you not standing up for the democracy that is Israel, given that Israel is surrounded by so many enemies that are not democracies? I think it's before the debate. You need to know the facts and history before you're having a debate. I think they don't have the basics. So maybe it's good that they come, maybe they can learn something, maybe they should read a little bit about the history of Israel, about the strength of our democracy before criticizing us. Okay, that creates that BDS movement would destabilize Israel, is that correct? Uh, that's a threat, you know, boycotting Israel. You know, we help so many countries. Our technology helps so many Americans. So you want to boycott what we invent in Israel? It's ridiculous. And Representative Talib and Representative Omar support the BDS resolution that just came up in Congress. Let's move on to Iran, claiming it broke up a CIA aspiring. 17 individuals uh, arrested, many, some of them rather, sentenced to death. The president denies it. What are you hearing? D don't believe what the Iranians are saying. Why? They are now panicking. That's why they spread rumors. That's why they attack the tankers, they attack the U.S. drone. The sanctions are working. It's effective. That's why they are reacting, and that's why to get the attention of the Europeans to stick to the agreement. I call the Europeans to apply more sanctions, to follow the leadership of President Trump, and not to try to negotiate with them. Look at the U.K. They just took a, a boat, and they are holding it. And still, we don't hear a clear condemnation coming from the UK. They should apply more sanctions against the Iranians. Okay, because to your point, this, uh, you know, the question is uh, this tit for tat, tanker for tanker grab. Here is General Jack Keane. He's saying Iran does not want, to your point, does not want to ever show weakness. So this is behind what's going on. Listen to this. You know, the Iranians, you have to keep, stay focused on what's driving them also. They're like the Chinese communists, the North Korean communists. They have, they've got an audience at home that they have their hands around their throat. Right. And they don't want to ever show weakness to them. So the United States shoots down one of their drones, and it's a fact. They deny it. They're retaliating against the Brits here because they want to demonstrate also, not just to the region, but to their people at home, that they're still powerful. Your reaction to that? I agree with the general, but I would add something else. I think the Iranians, they want to renegotiate, but they cannot come publicly and admit it. So that's what they are doing. They want to call for the world's attention. Eventually, if they want to come back to the negotiating room, they have to understand that we have to change the agreement. The agreement they signed with the previous administration was a bad one. Maybe it's about time to come and speak about the new guidelines for a new agreement. So many of these headlines they float is for domestic consumption, right? Is to, for their standing inside the country. Absolutely. In the Middle East, uh, the idea of being strong is more important than the facts. Okay. Ambassador, thank you so thank much you for joining much. us. Great to thank see you. you.